Hi guys, welcome to episode 15, start of a new season. I hope you're excited, because I am. It has been a busy, busy off-season. Um, we're up against our first game, Fleetwood, that you can see there. And while all my players went on uh, holiday, I don't know where they went. Mallorca, Lanzarote, ah, who knows, who knows where they went. I was trawling the world for players to improve my squad. So let's have a look at players we bought in. So um, I found this guy from Aldershot. Cost me 50k. Simba Kudiawa. He looks, he looks pretty decent. He's got some good decent stats. Positioning, this will improve as he gets older. So he's, he's come in. He looks good. Cost me 50k. Uh, Michael Mandrum, we knew he was coming in on a Bosman from Gilliam. Um, Robbie Brady, yep, we all know about him. Very, very excited about him as well. And he's got a cheeky minimum free of 10 million, so that'll be good. Um, Tunji Akinola, he was in one that I showed you as well. Not super keen on this guy. His determination of 18, kind of just, yeah, not super keen there. But anyway, he came in from West Ham. Um, Sean Ryan. Just a just a youth prospect there, seventeen. Not really. Yeah, uh, Johnny Madison, backup goalkeeper from Port Vale. He'll do very very nicely. Um, just gives us a bit more sort of a uh, a cushion there in case um, Ollie Crappenden does get injured, which he didn't miss a game last year, which was excellent. But just in case, we've got someone now who can actually uh, catch a ball. Um, then we've got Will Nightingale obviously came in on a um, on a free. That was good. And he's now out for a month with strained ankle ligaments. Oh, excuse me, guys. I am sneezing. Sorry about that. Um, so we've got him. Now, this is probably my most exciting transfer so far. Uh, Kuki Zalazar. Have a look at this guy. He looks really, really good. Spanish Uruguayan. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. Sneezing. Um... Disappointingly, for some reason, he came through with a three-month torn groin injury, um, which was great. Um, but anyway, so he's still out for a month, which is super disappointing. But I am very, very happy with him. He would be—he's going to be a great player. Um, we got Liam Smith came in from Dundee United. He either footed left and right, brilliant. I love a player like this on the bench. Just frees up a spot so you can have. Uh, play to play those win backs. Now, I spoke to you about this guy last time, Oliver Creed. Have a look at this guy. He is awesome. Um, he had a minimum fee of 500k from Woking, and I've signed him. Yes, he's indispensable. Yes, he's on a lot of money, and if we don't get promoted, we could lose him for a million, but I am so happy I've got him. Um, Mohamed Mochi. French Algerian, we picked him up from Oldham, one of our rivals, interestingly. Um, he comes into us, he'll be a really, he's an upgrade in that DMC role, I like this, 18 aggression, 15 bravery, he's determined, good positioning, good teamwork, really good DMC. He, I think, is going to be good, and as you can see in the two friendlies he played, he's been a beast. Um, Fernando Loriente, 29-year-old Spaniard, he came in from Rayo... Um, I'm not even going to bother pronouncing that. 150k. Looks pretty decent. A little bit old, but he really beefs up that midfield for us there. I'm liking him a lot. And Stephen McCormick, just a young um, central defender there. Liking this, this 20 bravery here. Um, other than that, players out. We let a whole bunch of these absolute rubbish guys go. Um, Leon Okimboigio. Um, if you remember, played a handful of games last year. Bromley came in with 60k, and I was like, sure, because he's not that great. Pace 9, I'm not enjoying that. Now, future transfers, we are, we have been trying to get Macaulay Bon, Bonnet for, for Bone, Bonnet, Bonnie, Bon, what, some whatever, um, for ages now. Um, just a lot of back and forth over contracts and stuff. He's only on 1800 per week at Charlton, but he wants ridiculous that we can't afford. So I've been, you know, trying to negotiate him, but he will be an absolute boon transfer if we can get him. Um, 
in. So we're still working on this one. I've been working on this one all summer. Uh, and I've also got Danny Johnson as another. He's potentially my backup. But if we have a look between him and Macaulay here, I think Macaulay is a lot better. Yeah, two stars better there. So, I mean, the players in list doesn't look too good. doesn't look extensive, but I'm, I'm really happy with what we spent. We spent $2.5 million. Um, we still have just over that left in the finances, which is good, but the amount of players I looked at, God, we could have made a whole other two squads from it. Um, down the reserves, we've got a whole bunch of guys here who played for us last year who I'm not sure are really going to make the, make the grade. Um, we've got this kid in through our youth system, Teddy Rawson. It doesn't look too bad. 15, but anyway. Um, his determination is quite low. Um, but still, um, Victor Videl, he, we signed him last year, but he looks like he's improving slightly. One person who did improve really, really well over the offseason is Jason Henderson. Um, only played a few games for me last year, but he's really, really improved quite a bit. Just, I wish his tackling was a bit more, but anyway, uh, other than that, I think it's pretty much most of these guys are sitting down there. We've got a couple of people like um, Brindley, Rogers, Lacey. They're going to probably struggle now and they're going to get upset soon. Galbraith as well. Um, but other than that, he's improved a little bit as well, Josh Walsh. Um, so that's a, that is the squad. It's looking really good. I'm really happy with that. Can't wait till this guy gets in. And if we get um, McCauley in as well, that will be excellent. Um, friendlies wise, now I know friendlies don't really do anything in this, but you know, for a bit of a thematical kind of thing, I like to um, I like to play them. So we hammered Yeovil five nil. Also, I couldn't get any friendlies weirdly against any decent teams. So I had to get all like lower division teams. Even teams in our division kept rejecting them, which is weird. Drew one all with Farsley, and then we came through and we beat FC United um, three two. Um, if you're interested, just quickly, Liverpool won the Premier League last year. Leicester won the FA Cup, I think. Um, what is it? FA Cup. Um, yeah, it was Leicester. Champions League, I'm pretty sure was. Chelsea, weirdly. Um, the... Where is the... European Championships. Uh, Portugal won. Take a time in a row. There. Um, that was interesting. They actually... <laughs> England lost, shockingly, in the quarterfinals to a penalty shootout, so no surprises there. But they did luckily get a 90th minute Kane uh, goal to equalise. Ronaldo just obviously was amazing. Um, that's pretty much it. Other than that, guys, we are now wasted a good eight minutes going through all that. We are still semi-professional, um, but that is because um, a whole load of those... Oh, this guy... Um, so let's make a note of that. Um, full time contract, full time contract, full time. To to become a uh, a professional club, you need to have everyone on a full time contract. Now, obviously, you have this guy here. He was still on a part time contract. So I'll be, and they never want to renew their contract, which I don't understand. So I'll be looking for a new scout. Um, I don't have any players on part-time contracts anymore. Um, we're going to offer this guy a new contract because, yeah, 15-year-old goalkeeper. Um, so everyone, I think all of the original players from Bury are gone. Um, the last three were, or um, well, the last couple, Matt Walker, Jason Harris, Jordan Wright. Uh, Rob Hunt, he was released. Sean Scott Miller released. <laughs> Dean Thompson released. So, all of them there, they were the last ones. So, right, let, let's get to it. Tactics going to stay the same for this season. Uh, training, I'm not going to change any of that. If you guys want me to go through training, I think I did at the beginning, I'll go through it again. Just uh, leave a comment and I'll show you how I do training. Um, this is how we're going to line up, though. Um, I'm excited. The squad looks awesome. And we are going to push for promotion. 
Um, let's change commissary speed to fast because that I'm very fast for the friendlies. Fleetwood, they're a good. They look to be pretty. Yeah, how is he still playing? Far out. Um, yeah, it's a very similar lineup to us. And let's go. Um, I'm ju I just want to bring in one more striker. I think because we're a little bit light up front with only essentially one striker at this point in time. Um, I've really struggled to get. I try to get some people on loan. Damn it. Um, but once again, just that same old adage of they're listed for loan and the club rejected. So that's disappointing. Not a good start. Not a good start going 1 0 down. Ooh, we almost had a penalty there. We both had the same amount of shots. We've had a few more shots there with three on three on target. Now we have the second best defense uh, in the season. God. Second best defense in the season last year, so if we can improve on scoring goals, I think we can definitely be up there come the end of it. Um, potential knee injury, nothing, and potential thigh injury. Cool. Um, all right, let's bring Highland on for him, and let's bring push Kane up front. Okay. Cool. All right, let's roll. Come on. We can still do this. Yes, Clark, get in. Jordan Clark, the right back, screaming forward. Come on, guys. Let's try and nick another one here before the end. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's maybe, maybe do that. Oh, do do this old chestnut. Forward runs, running for long shots. Yes. Okay. For four minutes. No. No, it's too late, too late. All right, good. Decent draw away from home. Clint Whelan. Happy with that. That's not a bad start, especially against a tough team like Fleetwood. Um, all right, who we got next? Uh, we also drew West Brom in the first round of League Cup, which was a bit of a... Yeah, not too happy with that. So I like, would have liked to have gone a little bit far in a cup, and drawing West Brom, Brom straight off the bat there is annoying. So anyway, next game we've got Colchester. Let's push on. I figured out as well why the game is going so slowly. It's because I've got Nick Patcher on here, and I have done. Um, I've forced a load of all the players, um, so that does slow it down. Uh, apparently, because it takes a long time to process. So that's that's why, and that's probably my fault, but. You know, I like to I like to have all the players. It gives us a lot more options of players to buy. Um, so anyway, all good, all good. Leicester winning the charity shield, first bit of silverware of the season. <clears throat> so it might be might be a little bit more pausing, guys, and we'll I'll, I'll pause and and, and go through. Um, skip through all that stuff there, but you're really excited for this season with those those players that we've brought in. Um, I really do think we can definitely push it, and I like the fact that we've got some young players there, especially like Oliver Creed. He will at least hopefully play one year in League One, one year in the Championship, um, and then we can get uh, into the Premier League, and he'll be looking pretty good. It's got Third, actually. Let's add him to the shortlist. Lefty. Neymar. Neymar moves around this game all the time. Just, yeah, he just chucks hissy fits constantly. Um, oh, yep, that's that guy. Scandinavian. Oh, I sent him out on Scandinavian search. Um, he's mainly looking for strikers, to be honest. And he's the best one. No, not not overly impressed. Usually I just go to 21 uh, work rate. He's not too bad. Uh, add him to the short list. Add him to the short list. <sighs> too bad he's not a striker. I feel like he's a striker with these stats. You know, I'm too sure this these guys can be bought in really cheap. Uh, 
he's pretty good, eh? He's got good off the ball. Off the ball's always pretty good for a striker with a little animal to the shortlist as well. Yep, okay, cool. Um, we'll leave you as you are. Yeah, so, you know, that's the good thing about signing those guys lower down. You can, like, it really gives them time to play some quality actual football before um, so they can start to develop. Um, and then start to beef up those stats. Oh, to still oh, to delay this. Oh, to cancel. Oh, to, I've delayed this transfer for so long because I'm just oh, trying to get a Macaulay in. But I just, like it has literally been going on for months now. The window is going to shut before he gets in. He just wants like I think he wants like seven thousand pounds a week, which is crazy considering. He, He's on. You're about to find out. Um, yeah, you're, you're like you're about to find out. Oh, find out about how much he actually wants, which is crazy. Um, I forgot to tell you as well. This guy here as well, Cruzeria. He he's improved quite a bit. A lot of his stats have gone up to double double figures. He looks he looks to be coming really really good. I'm really happy with him. Right off contract. Indispensable, <gasps> seven and a half thousand. So it's like you're on eighteen hundred. We are in the same division. Come on. And this is where we start to fall flat because I, as well, for some reason, can only offer him. Oh, I've only been able to recently offer him two hundred. So maybe if I offer him two seventy five now, we can. Maybe that'll work. Come on, because that's, that's literally... I'm literally just throwing wads of cash at him at this point. <coughs> Excuse me. And he's like... Mm, pay me like three... Over three times or whatever I'm on at the moment. And it's like, come on. You want first team football? You want first team football? Come on. This guy's not too bad from Leighton Orient. Like, he hasn't played a bit, but I feel, you know, he could do a job for us. He's got some good pace. I like a striker with a bit of pace. Um, oh, look, see, he's rejected me. It's fucking hell, honestly. You're not going to play any football. Maybe it's the minimum fee. Let's go non-promotion, relegation. Maybe it's that... Five million... The problem is here is because the club have only released 875 in transfer fees is I pay the 600 for him and which is all that Charlton will accept. I've tried so many variations of it. Um, like they just oh yeah, Lazio won the Europa obviously. Um, so many variations like over 24 months after uh, you know, after everything, and they just they just want cash up front, which is irritating. Um, so we're there. We're just contract, contract, contract over and over and over and over and over again. We're just endless. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna delay this one for another week. I just this Danny Johnson must be getting absolutely pissed off with me. Because I'm pretty sure since the beginning of August I have tried to sign him and it has just been delay, delay, cancel, cancel, delay and just, he's probably getting jack of it. I'm glad that the game doesn't go that far in it because, <laughs> yeah, he wouldn't come but I have a feeling I'm going to end up having him because I don't think I'm going to get Macaulay um, from Charlton probably have to wait for January I reckon um, but I would really really like a striker to fire us beginning of the season cause that's where we excuse me, that's where we went down last year like I said we had the second best defence in League 1 which is incredible um, but we had the third worst attack now if we could even shift our attack up to mid table attack like that that really puts us up the top end of the table 
puts us up that promotion -y end. Which is good. God, 20 minutes in, we've played one game. I suppose I did rabbit on at the beginning endlessly about filling you guys in on what has happened. Say guys, maybe it's just guy. Maybe it's gal, who knows? Maybe there's no one. Maybe I'm just talking to myself. Um, oh, he's always a good buy. He wouldn't have never... League One, what are you paying him? Swindon Town. 13,000 a week. Far out. Uh, oh, no. Procedure match tactics. Alright, uh, everyone's 100% fit. I do want this guy back badly, but it's going to take ages. Um, who was awful last game? A fair few of us, actually. Robbie Brady, obviously, I'm not dropping him. Uh, maybe these guys just needed a little bit of time to, to settle. Um, oh, let's do available only. Um, yeah, that'll do. Let's go there. Um, want that, want that, want that. Yep, yep, yep. Alright, at home. First time coming of the season. Dry 20 degrees. Oh, look, it's not raining. Get in, Kane! Yes! That's what I'm talking about. Scoring goals. Oh, <laughs> Mandarin. 2-0. This never happened last year. This never happened last year. That did. That did a lot. That always happens. Yep. Yep. First shot on target. Straight in the back of the net. Alright, it's not too bad. Not too bad. Let's keep this up. Keep this up. Come on. Don't wanna don't wanna wreck this. Come on. Come back into it. We've had a lot more shots though. A lot more shots. Robbie Brady's got a knee injury. Let's bring Ryan Highwatt on for him. Everyone else is looking pretty good. Ludwig. Simba Kudyemya. Kudy. Iwa, Kudi Iwa. Told ya. I am awful at pronouncing names. Excellent. Let's go. Oh, for f That's probably my fault for putting a defender on. It's whenever you put a defender on, the, the other team seems to score a goal, no matter what. They always do it. I don't know what it is. It must just be some. Like, no matter how bad that defender is playing, you put another defender on, and the other team seems to score. Um, Levi, four runs run with ball, wrong shots. Let's go. Come on. Another draw. Another draw. Right, well, we're undefeated. So, let's take a positive out of that one. Undefeated so far. I think we've got League Cup against West Brom next at home. Be an interesting one on Tuesday. Let's push on to that. Well, hopefully we can we should be able to get that one in, which won't be too bad. Three um, three games in the first episode, considering I waffled for ages. <gasps> He's coming! He's coming, Macaulay! He's coming, Macaulay! I don't know, some sort of chant for him. <sighs> Macaulay Bone, yes. Bone, is it bone? Bone, bone, bone. Yeah, bone. Sounds good. I have to find that out. But, oh, that is a buy and a half. It was, I can't believe, um, I, probably a combination of the signing on fee and the um, minimum fee. Sometimes when players want a minimum fee, you can kind of trick them by giving them the non-promotion relegation fee as well, which um, for a little bit lower. I mean, he's still got a million on there, which, you know, if we do get that, if we were not to get promotion, that would obviously kick in. Um, and um, and we would still, you know, what, recoup 125 from him. Get in. Lucas Knight. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Bye, mate. Bye. Complete Central European search. Yes. That was when I was just looking for...
pacey, pacey attackers. What do we got? Mm, ordinary. Oh, ooh. Macedonian Australian. Nice. A 16 year old Kosovo. Hmm, 16. He might be pretty good. Well, keep an eye on him. Gotta be careful about signing these younger players too young. They tend to get homesick. Um, what are you really unhappy for? Wants to move to a bigger club. Ah, oh, Ollie. Ah. Uh. Nah. Sure, I'm not going to deny that request. Put him on the list. You can stay transfer listed. That's could probably kind of get away with it somehow, but with him being my goalkeeper, it just Reading though. I like this kid here. He's really good. Reading are too far away. Let's compare him. I mean, I'm not going to let him go for less than his minimum fee anyway, so he's way better than him as well. That'd be a cheeky little buy there. Uh, Alright, let's go. Come on. Let's go West Brom. Uh, this is a pretty tough one. West Brom are awesome in this. Um, but we've got we've got Macaulay. I'm probably not going to sign what's-his-face now. Um, Danny Johnson. Um, Chris Kane is no good. Uh, everyone else can probably play. So let's get Tom Berry on there. Um, Bone on the bench. Goddard. Xeria. And something like that. There's a number 11. Waiting for you. West Brom. Got a good feeling about this. We're at home. They've got a good squad though. Really, really good squad. Like, Robson Khan is pretty good. Um, looking good. No one's had a shot on goal yet. That's alright. Drive 16 degrees down at Kig Lane. Oh, get in, Brady! Oh, that is great. It's good stuff, good stuff. We are dominating them. Well, no, we're not actually. They are putting these shots all over the shop. That uh, was always going to happen. That was going to always going to happen. The amount of shots they were having. Oh, <laughs> Tom Berry. Yes. Look at that. We are having a great game. Great game. The striker's not playing well. What's his name again? Miguel Mandron, the Scottish Frenchman. What a, what a top combination of nationalities. Right, let's bring on Macaulay. That's not Macaulay. Uh, Ludwig's playing crap, but ugh, I risk the risk of taking him off. Let's bring him on for him. He's not playing too good. Prezeri on for uh, Lorente. Um, let's leave it at that. And let's still push forward. We only had two shots on goal. We literally have the same crowd number every single game, it seems. Come on, guys. Let's hold this out. Let's hold this out. Come on. Come on, come on. Yes! What a win! What a great win! Matt Phillips, I don't know, Ollie should have been man of the match then, that was a top win, top, top win, alright, that's great, let's, um, we're going to finish up there right now guys, so um, please like and subscribe, uh, leave a comment if you want, and I will see you next time, thank you.